Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, to I'm uh, so happy to see you here again. Now, we are going to take Unit 21 for Grade 4. Today is Monday, 13th of March, 2020. Yes, uh, our lesson today about flowers. We need the flowers for give them as a present. I give flowers for my mother as present. I give flowers for my lovely friends. Yes, now I need the flowers. So let's learn how to grow flowers. I'd like to grow some flowers. What do I have to do? Okay, first you have to prepare the ground like this man in the picture. He has to prepare the ground. Then you have to put the seeds in the ground. This is the seed as the picture. Seeds. Seeds. You have to put the seeds in the ground. Then dig it. Dig the ground. You have Put the seeds in the ground, then cover, cover the seeds. You have to water the seeds every day. You have to water the seeds every day. Very soon they grow into beautiful flowers and I can give my flowers for my mother or my teacher or somebody I love him. Now, let's listen to the video about how we can plant flowers. Watch this video. To stay alive, these are the five things it needs to survive. The plant needs the sun, nice and bright. The leaves of the plant love sunlight. As you see in the video, any plants need the sun, the water, the soil, and the seeds to, um, to live. Now, Leila and her mother, as you see in the picture here, Leila and her mother are talking about how to grow some flowers. Leila asked her mother to grow some flowers. Let's listen to Leila and her mother now for unit 22. My pupils, open your box on 20 or 21 on 21 flowers. Listen to the unit. Unit 21. Exercise 1. Listen and read. I'd like to grow some flowers, Mum. What do I have to do? Well, first, you have to prepare the ground. You dig it. Like this. Then, you put the seeds in the ground. You have to cover the seeds. You don't want the birds to find them. Go away, birds! It can be very dry in spring and summer. You have to water your seeds every day. I'll look after them every day. 
very soon they grow into beautiful flowers. We can give the flowers to Grandma. Yes, we can. Now, who can you see in this picture? Yes, very good. I can see Leila and her mother. Her mother gave her some instructions about how she has to, uh, what she has to do to grow some flowers. Now, let's read and match this practice on your activity book. You have listen and match. Yes, open your box, my students, and match with me. You have to dig the ground. Yes, very good. Picture C. Number two, you have to put the seeds in the ground. Put the seeds, seeds in the ground. Yes. Number B. Three, you have to cover the seeds. Cover the seeds. I put the seeds in the ground, then I um, cover the seeds. Yes. Number A. Picture A. You have to water the seeds every day. Water the seeds with water. Very good. Picture E. You have to look after the flowers. Look after them. Yes. Number D. Very good. Now, the rule of our lesson today, the using of has to and have to. We use she, uh, with she and he has to plus the verb and they, we, you and I have to plus the verb. With the question, when we want to make a question, we use do. What do you have to do every day? Here I use do. What do you have to do every day? Let's do this practice about have and has on your activity book, page 61. Yes, my students, open your activity book, page 61, using have or has in space. Lean has to do her homework now. Lean has. Yes. Number two, I. I. Yes, very good. I have to go to the pickers. We haven't got any bread. Number three, Hossam. Hossam has, yes, to be at the school at the quarter to eight. Number four, you, you have, you have to clean your teeth before you go to bed. Number five, we, we have to water the flowers this afternoon. My mother, my mother, yes, you can do it. My mother has to cook lunch for all of the family on Saturday. Doctors, it is a plural. Doctors here, it means they. They have to look after people in hospitals. And doctors now uh, look after people in hospitals. And we want to say thank you for doctors now. I, I have to tidy my bedroom tomorrow. Yes, very. Now, Another, another video. We are going now to listen a video about monsters and what he has to do every day. Listen to monsters video. Listen and order. My name is Monser. I'm going to tell you about my day. I have to get up at half past six. I like getting up early. I have to wash my face and clean my teeth. My father takes me to school. I have to be at school at a quarter to eight. My lessons start at eight o'clock. In class, I have to listen to my teacher. I have to work very hard. I like school very much. I go home at one o'clock and I have lunch at two o'clock with my family. After lunch, I have to do my homework. My mother sometimes helps me. I often read a book 
or play computer games. I have to go to bed at nine o'clock. Now, after listening to Monzer's day, I will ask you about your day. What do you have to do every day? What do you have to do every day? Yes, try. Using these pictures, I have to get up early. Or I have to get up at 7 o'clock. Yes, I have to wash my teeth. I have to wash my teeth. Also, I have to wash my hands. I have to wash my hands. I have to do my homework also. Now, what do you have to do at the school? What do you have to do? Yes, using pictures and answer me. What do you have to do at the school? I have to listen to my teacher. I have to listen to my teacher. Yes, I have to be at the school, for example, at 8 o'clock. Now, read and tick or cross false, true or false. We will read this paragraph about Sheza, then uh, write true or false. My name is Sheza. I'm going to tell you about my day. I have to get up at a quarter past six. My sister has to get up at the quarter past six, the same clock. Two, we have a breakfast and then we have to go to school. Breakfast, then go to school. I come home at lunchtime and I have to do my homework in the afternoon. Do homework in the afternoon. I sometimes read in the evening or I watch television. I have to go to bed at half past eight. Half past eight. But my sister has to go to bed at half past seven. Half past seven. Now, number one, Shiza and her sister have to get up at a quarter past seven. Quarter past seven is the same clock. And at the paragraph, quarter past six. Here, quarter past seven. Seven, yes, it is false. Number two, Shiza and her sister have to go to school in the morning. In the morning, yes, it is true. Shiza has to do her homework in the afternoon. Yes, it is true. Now, number four, Shiza has to go to bed at half past seven. At half past seven. Yes, it is true. Shiza's sister has to go to bed at half past seven. No, it is false. Now, at the end of my lesson, I hope you, I hope you are safe and please stay at home and goodbye. See you again. You can't buy all what you like. You can't buy all that you like. You can't buy all that you like. The life is hard. Life is hard. Life is hard.
I want it now. I want to eat now. I want to eat now. You can't buy all that you like. You can't buy all that you like. Life is hard. Life is hard. I want to eat now. I want to eat now. The old woman and the doctor. Once upon a time, there was a very rich old woman. She had lost her eyesight. She went to a doctor to get herself treated. The doctor asked the old woman, What will I get from you if I treat you? Doctor, I have everything. You don't worry. If I get my eyesight back, I will reward you. But if I don't get well, then I won't give you anything. That's fine. I agree to it. Tomorrow, I'll come to your house and start your treatment. The doctor started her treatment, but seeing her beautiful and decorated house, he got tempted. The old woman couldn't see, so the doctor stole away all the material one by one. After stealing everything, he stopped going to her house. But God always does justice to everyone, sooner or later. One fine day, the old woman got her eyesight back. She dug out the treasure from the backyard and started leading a good life. The doctor thought he had already taken everything, including money, jewelry, whatever belonged to the old woman. He thought, I have taken everything of hers. But when he saw the same royal standard of her living, he went and complained to the king. The old woman accepted in front of the king. She said, I did say that if I get my eyesight back, I will reward the doctor. But I couldn't see anything. So, why do I reward him? My lord, he tell me when I lost my eyesight. My house was full of furniture, decorative bases, but 